What's up everybody, Derek here. And today, look at all of these rods behind me. There are rods everywhere. What I was gonna do is look at some bass rods and maybe walk down through them and see if I could just kind of walk through with you guys. I was gonna look at them anyway, so I might as well film it for y'all if you're coming up to Bass Pro to look at some rods that they've got in stock. So we might as well just walk through all of these, see what the prices are and just kind of a brief overview of what they've got in stock here. So I hope this helps you all out, but let's get to looking at these rods. All right, here's our first rod right here. Different sizes, seven foot, six, six. You got basically everything that you're gonna need, medium heavies, but these are 120. And these are the Johnny Morris carbon lights right here. Not bad looking with the grips and everything. Some good looking rods. And then the next ones are basically gonna be the same thing that they've got in stock here. 120 on those as well. Then you got some combos, but let's go to the next side. So now we got some more Bass Pro rods, but these look more like a finesse rod. And these are seven foot medium. This one is at a hundred dollars. Not a bad looking rod, good grips. And there are a bunch of them. So you'll be able to get spinning, all of that right at a hundred dollars quite a few of them too then you got your cork ones which usually that brings down the price but not in this case <laughs> 150 dollars for these nice rod this thing is super light super super light i could definitely see some light finesse baits on this but you got six foot eight medium heavy 72 mediums i mean just about everything you need there and then Kind of an upgrade here it looks like maybe yep 180 for this one this is a bass pro as well platinum signature not a bad looking rod for 180 bucks definitely a definitely a big rod for what you need for getting those bass out of structure and other stuff if you're flipping and pitching but seven foot six heavy yeah and then right behind me here was g loomis and G. Loomis are some expensive rods. They're super light and they're great rods, but 220. Nice, nice rod. Let's see, this is actually the spinning rod right here. Here's a bait caster right here, seven foot five. This one's got a little bit more weight, but man, look at those micro guides on that thing. Looks good. But seven five, seven five, six eight, medium heavies. Then you got a little guy here. It almost looks like a little ice fishing rod. It's so tiny. And then as you go down through here, you get some more Bass Pro rods. This is a cranking rod. Definitely. Seven foot ten, medium heavy for a hundred bucks. So not bad, but definitely a cranking rod where you can get that thing right into your side and just lay into it all day long if you're a cranking kind of fisherman good looking rods <laughs> and then here what do we got here this is a spinning reel for or rod for 70 bucks six foot six medium heavy not bad looking definitely a ton of bass pro shops and surprise we're at bass pro but they have a ton of those in stock so we're probably going to start getting out of the bass pro brands let's see what we got here no i was wrong tourney special they have so many different brands but this is a good balanced rod right here for a bait caster six six medium heavy 50 bucks wow oh it's a two-piece Look at the eyelets all off right there. Yep. But still, that's a nice rod for $50. They've got quite a few of them. And so now we got more. There's another one, the bionic blade. No idea what that means, but it's a light rod. Let's see what it says. It's bionic blade, 80 bucks. Six foot, medium heavy. That is a one piece rod though. 
And they've got spinning over here, same thing, six foot, six six, seven six medium heavies, seven foot mediums, seven three medium heavies. I think you're basically gonna be able to get just about any rod that you're particularly looking for. And y'all know St. Croix, they're good ones too. They're not a G Loomis or anything, but they are good rods. I've had some of these in the past. And they are $160 for a six foot six medium heavy. And this is a spinning actually. But you get over here to this St. Croix, it's 220. So look at that. Avid X. And there are basically, this is the last one besides these spinning St. Croix that are right here. And that one's a seven foot medium. Good looking rod, but only one left. And then of course the mojo bass that St. Croix has here. These are good rods for 140. Can't really beat that. This is the spinning. Here's the bait caster. The big old knob on the end. Not bad, 140. It's got a little bit more weight than some of those Bass Pro. I'm kind of I'm kind of surprised by that. You got these other St. Croix for 150. These are all spinning versions. Now, if you want the bait caster, 160. That weighs about the same as that last one we just looked at. Seven foot medium. And then we got a Bass X. What is, oh, this is the St. Croix as well. So this is St. Croix Isle. Bass X this is a seven foot four medium heavy for 120. Not bad. It's got good weight, got good balance to it. But seven four for me personally, being a short little guy, <laughs> this is probably a little bit too much for me. I kind of like to just stay standardized with six six seven foot a lot of times. But if you need a big one, you can go up to about a seven four. And here's the boy ducats. The Silverado for a hundred dollars, seven foot medium heavy. That thing's got some good. I've got one of these, not this particular Brent, um, same Silverado, but I've got one of the ducket rods and it broke on me finally, but I broke it. But that thing's got some good light weight to it. So you got seven foot, seven foot. Then you get over here just a insight that's a cool looking rod 150 bucks this is a seven foot medium heavy you can use that just about for anything but it's got good weight just like the silverado i just picked up kind of like the ducket rods a little bit all right loose we're getting into loose stuff so you got the kvd course 100 bucks seven foot medium heavy and there are not very many of these left so looks like these are selling pretty good and then here's the loose speed stick this is the spinning version a little heavier than i'm i don't know it feels a little heavy for some reason after picking up that last one 70 bucks not a bad looking spinning but that's pretty much all they've got left on those Ooh, this is a super light rod, 150. This is the custom speed stick. Good looking rod, six foot nine, medium heavy. No, it powered by angler so it's got the weight on the back it's probably a cranking rod or some kind not particularly sure on these it's rod abu rod oh abu garcia i am not up to date on these 130 dollars not bad at all just feels a little heavy not balanced exactly perfect but i don't know
I like this one, the Veritas. These are good rods. Doesn't say 100 bucks. Six foot six, medium heavy. Or medium, actually. This thing looks nice and it's weighted good. I like Abu Garcia rods. I've always had good luck with them and I don't know, just gotten used to them. But they got all types of different various sizes, looks like. Seven foot, medium heavy, seven medium. And then this is basically what I kind of started out on, the Vendettas. I really like these rods. 80 bucks, you can't go wrong with that. And they're weighted almost absolutely perfect. I've always liked these. I, they put something similar to these on the, the $50 combos. They're not exactly this rod, but these are just good rods for the price that I've really, really saved money on actually buying them. And they've got a ton of them. Ton of them in stock right here. Then you start getting over here and we're getting back into some cheaper stuff. So $35 for just a graphite series, just regular rod. This is a spinning rod actually. But getting down into the, the budget minded stuff, $35. Here's one of the bait casters. They got a ton of spinning as you see right there. But definitely if you feel that, that's seven foot six medium heavy. That's starting to get heavy right there. I can definitely feel the weight difference in that. But these are collapse, yeah, these are collapsible. So they actually collapse down. I forget what that's called, but I've got a couple of them like that. They're not too bad of rods. And then Quantum, starting to get into some Quantums with the Build Dance exclusive series. $80 for a six foot 10 medium. It's got some good weight, nice guides. I think I would still actually go for the uh, Abu Garcia Vendetta in my opinion for this price, but I've always liked Quantum. And there's not a lot of them here, just those right there. Then you're starting to get into your ugly sticks and then as you further go down, it's kind of more or less the cheaper bass gear kind of stuff because this is heavy right here this is an ugly stick fifty dollars seven foot medium heavy and this thing is heavy <laughs> yeah how much is it 50 bucks i don't know not bad but they've got a bunch of them i wonder if the spinning spinning's not as heavy 50 bucks still but might be not a bad option for 50 bucks on those. Let's see what we got here. Berkeley lightning rod. Cork. Not. It's actually fairly light. That's not too bad if you're trying to save some money, but what is the price? $35. This is a 6.6 medium. That's actually not that bad. But you can pick up some good combos at Bass Pro for $50, so you just gotta take that into consideration, I guess. And then the last aisle, probably, because it looks like it just kinda keeps going down in price. And this is a heavy, ugly stick. I don't know. You could save money, but would it be worth it to spend another $30, $40 on another rod? Because this one is $40. And another $40, you can buy the Vendetta or a bunch of them that are more budget friendly. I don't know. It's kind of just playing it by how you want now. You do have some more options, but lots of ugly stick. But if you go down here to the very, very end, let's see, this is a Bass Pro rod for $20. Pretty heavy, but it's a whooping stick. <laughs> And it's a six foot six medium heavy. And this thing is heavy. I mean, it is heavy. Your arm would be tired by the end of the day. I don't know if $20 is worth that. Spend another $20 and you save your arm for the fishing day. Let's see what else. 
Oh, this is no thirty dollars. This has got to be a cat fishing rod. There ain't no way you'd fish with that. Way too heavy. But that is all the rods that they got here at Bass Pro, and that is a ton. Well, guys, I definitely have an idea of what I want to go purchase, and I think I'm going to lean towards maybe the Boyd Ducket or the Abu Garcia Vendetta, but I don't know which one I'm going to buy for this spring and summer fishing and into fall because I'm bad about breaking rods and doors and all kinds of stuff, but I don't know. That's just me and being clumsy sometimes, but they've got a ton of these rods down through here and some great ones. So hopefully I helped you all out a little bit while I was going down through here and kind of looking at them and figuring out what price point I kind of want to spend on. So let me know what kind of rods you guys might be fish fishing with or looking for, or if I helped you. I'd love to hear from you guys. And thanks for watching you guys and subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video if you liked it and I'll see you guys in the next one.